The Root Rider is a new troop in the Clash of Clans update. Let's explain how it works and give you all of the tips and strategy. With sneak peek number one, we revealed Town Hall 16 itself before then going over the brand new merge defenses and yesterday, the new Spirit Fox. If you've missed any of those, I'll pop a playlist at the end of this video. However, the barracks to level 17 unlocks you the Root Rider. Her tough tree root smashes walls and defenses into dust. It is a defense targeting troop and is only 20 housing space. Let me tell you, this is going to be my new favorite troop. Let's upgrade the barracks and then I will do a comparison of stats for you. It will be 16 million elixir to upgrade with a two week upgrade time. But you know me, I will have the book of building ready for that one. You can actually upgrade the barracks at Town Hall 15. And even in the laboratory, you can upgrade it to level 2 at Town Hall 15. The maximum of level 3 is then when you require Town Hall 16. I know I gave you a bit of an upgrade guide to the troops on Sneak Peek 1, but this is going to be the troop that I upgrade first. 22 million elixir, 14 days to upgrade. But remember, when you do upgrade to Town Hall 16, you have the 5 days of army boost, so you can utilize the this max level. To give you a bit of a comparison with other troops first, the Root Rider has 8,000 hit points and 250 damage per second. In comparison to the Electro Titan, it actually has greater damage per second, slightly less hit points, but it's only 20 housing space. Where the best comparison comes in though is the Hog Riders. If you were to have four Hog Riders, the hit points would only be 4,920 at maximum level. In comparison, the Root Rider has so many more hit points, not to mention it's not as susceptible to splash damage. You can easily heal this troop up. However, the damage per second is a bit lower than the Hog Rider if you took four of them, but it is just way easier to use, specifically because of those greater hit points. With the Root Rider being defense targeting, if you are sending them in towards the town hall, you obviously would need to have it activated. But you can see that they break walls on route pun intended, and then they take down the town hall relatively easily. Not to mention that once the poison goes off, they can survive all of the way through this. In comparison, if we took the same amount of housing space in Hog Riders, they could get through the town hall, but once the poison goes off, they are instantly vaporized. The town hall is one thing, but the scattershot causes a bigger issue for hog riders. If we send in eight hog riders versus two root riders, the exact same troop capacity, the hog riders get wiped out, whereas the root riders can make it through. This becomes even more apparent if there are rage spell towers close to these defenses. The hog riders can go down even if you have a healing spell in place, whereas that is not the case for the root riders, so it is going to be a little bit more user friendly. I've certainly had it where I've just missed my freeze spell timing and my hog riders get wiped out. I don't really have to worry about that as much with the new troop. Maybe I'm not selling you the root rider versus hog rider comparison enough. Think about this. A spring trap capacity at maximum level is 18, which is lower than the root rider. But if you were to send in four hog riders with that same 20 troop capacity, three out of the four would vanish off the map. This is a major downside to Queen Charge Hog Rider attacks, but the Root Rider completely bypasses this. When you consider you can get up to nine spring traps around your base, that really is a huge advantage. It will, however, be vulnerable to skeleton traps because it is defense targeting. Even as the Root Rider is breaking through the walls, it cannot knock down those little skeletons. Larry! However, since it has such great hit points, I've never found them to be that big of a deal. You just clean them up at the end. I will be going over strategies towards the end of the video once I've covered all of the mechanics. I figured I might be asked, does this work in the battle blimp? Not really. Even if you use invisibility spells, clone spells, it just doesn't have the reach that you have with the super archers or the super wizards or raging up the yetis. You don't get the same value, so it's really not worth taking. In terms of defense, I found a similar thing. When I first looked at this troop, I did think maybe it could be used on defense. However, even though it has pretty good hit points, that's why you'd be using it on defense to slow your opponent down. So again, 
then there's just better options out there, like the Triple Ice Golem, the Lava Hound. I wouldn't really use this troop in the Clan Castle. I will show you the full attack strategy I am going to be using this troop with, but just a couple of little bits of strategy first. I still think at Town Hall 16, the Super Archer Blimp will be used quite a lot. And following that, people tend to use either the Super Barbarians or the Electro Titans, but you need Wall Breakers to get them into the base. The Root Riders break through the walls anyway and provide access for your heroes all of the way through the base. So the Super Archer Blimp into Root Rider I think is something we will see especially in the early days of Town Hall 16. Another option is to simply use this as a tank but also to break your king into a certain area of the base. If you were going to use a Super Wall Breaker anyway which is a troop capacity maybe you will be better off using the Root Rider to get you that little bit extra tanking as well. Although that is going to be situational depending on how much value you're trying to get from the Barbarian King since he does have a lot of hit points himself anyways. There is one strategy I feel stands above the rest but I'm sure we could merge the Root Rider in with a number of different smash attacks. For example the Yeti and Super Archer attack just replacing the Yetis with the Root Riders means they break your Super Archers through the base. Alternatively you could just use the Root Riders and Super Wizards to do the exact same thing. I look forward to to seeing what the community comes up with. However, I will be using it with the Queen Charge into Root Riders. Let's show you a full Root Rider attack versus a maxed Town Hall 16 base. For my Queen Charges, I like to use the Yeti Blimp. I feel like it creates pathing for your Queen much easier. Now let's use a couple of balloons to test another one due to that Tesla and we can rage this area. You always want to try and lure the Clan Castle troops whilst clearing a compartment and setting that funnel. So we've done that. We get the multi archer tower. Can we get the ricochet cannon as well? Nearly. Once the funnel's set though, deploy your archer queen. We can get the healers in there as well. And once the CC arrives, we can poison on top of those. Since the root riders are slower than hog riders, you do have to deploy them earlier in the attack. But you obviously need to make sure your defensive funnel is set up by the archer queen first. On that note, you can actually use the barbarian king alongside the queen because the root riders, again, their defense targeting, you don't need him to set the funnel like you do for, let's say, the miners. We can wait until the queen steps down to this area or I can accidentally deploy my king early. Whatever works. Let's use the skeleton spell to tank all that as well. And we might as well deploy the root riders now because everything is funneled. We can get the grand warden, couple of wizards in there as well. Let's rage the queen, use a headhunter. I think we should freeze that monolith just to protect us. King ability to make sure the queen is funneled and let's use a healing spell. The royal champion now targeted in towards those central defenses. We do actually need to create the funnel with the defenses so the root riders move in. I missed the invisibility spell on the town hall but that's fine. If I freeze it now, the queen should move back towards it and use the Grand Warden ability before the Eagle Artillery fire comes down. Let's freeze this again. And I think we're looking pretty good here. The wizards are funneling quite nicely or cleaning up, sorry. We can use the healing spell now with the scatter shot about to be in range. Uh, Royal Champion's looking good with the Spirit Fox constantly turning her invisible. I didn't need the wall breakers for this attack, which I normally bring, but we can send the headhunter in now alongside the other wizards. Use that wall breaker to tank. Use the abilities. Invisibility on the subscribe clan castle. That's how I like to use it. The queen charge root riders is my new favorite attack in Clash of Clans and tomorrow we reveal the final sneak peek. So be sure to subscribe and if you want to see a breakdown on the new pet the spirit fox I have that video linked right here for you.